everyone, you've got Sierra here today, and today we're just going to give you an update on what we've been working on. So for the last few weeks, we've been really busy. We've had all kinds of things going on around the fish room, around the fish house, and uh, just personally. So a few of you guys may have noticed that we've had some delays with our uploading. Sometimes they're a few days late, which I do apologize for, but we really have, uh, we've had a lot on our plates. Basically, our hands have been full. Um, Mike's having some issues with his mom. He, she's been very sick, uh, so definitely good thoughts are out there for her. But uh, hopefully you guys understand that sometimes life happens and delays happen. Either way, let's get back to the fish stuff. So, or lately in the last week or two, we've picked up all kinds of fish and reptile supplies. So at this point, our house is just full. Um, really, we're running out of room for us. So... We've been slowly getting rid of that kind of stuff or the extras and things that we're not needing. And uh, it's been pretty cool to just to get to meet a few other people from, from the hobby. So yeah, our house has been a complete disaster. We're slowly working on it though, so good news there. Um, we've also been working on a fish food video. So this one we've been researching for, we've been researching fish food for at least the last year or so now really. Trying to get to understand the ingredients they put in it and why they're put there. So we're hoping with this video that we're going to have either sometime later this week or on Monday uh, that it's just going to give you guys a basic understanding of what's in your food, how to pick a food, and which foods to avoid, which foods to choose. So hopefully it gives you guys a better understanding of the ingredients and kind of how they work and why they're there. But yeah, anyways, that'll be a real detailed video. You want to stay subscribed for that one so you don't miss it. Now, along with all this reptile stuff, we came across a big bucket of dead dreams. That's what I like to call it anyways. Basically, we were given this gorgeous reef, complete coral setup. Uh, it must have been beautiful. Um, but anyways, something happened along the way that went terribly wrong, and for some reason we ended up with it. Uh, basically, they're all dried out and dead, which is unfortunate. But the cool thing uh, that we managed to do is we were able to take those decorative corals and basically piece together some ornaments, put them together in a way where we're going to be able to set them up in a freshwater tank and they're going to look really cool. So yeah, uh, we'll include the bucket of dead dreams here and I'll get Mike to include a few pictures of the designs that he's come up with so far, but I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, might be something we get painted down the line, but either way, very cool way to uh, repurpose that. It's definitely too nice to crush up and just put at the bottom of a tank. Now another thing that uh, I've been working on is t-shirt design. So we're getting into funny fish shirts, entertaining fish shirts, and just fish shirts for serious fish nerds. So if you guys are interested I definitely recommend you check that out. Um, with these purchases we do make a small uh, commission off these purchases. Same with our Amazon stores. If you guys would like to check those out, we'll include the links. But basically a small percentage will go to us which allows us to really help improve our channel and keep it going. Uh, we spend all kinds of money going to the fish stores, upgrading our equipment and things like that. So any little bit really helps. Uh, we're definitely not out there to just set up like a GoFundMe and ask you guys for the things we need, but anytime you're able to support our channel, either by purchasing things you already need through our Amazon store, or if you are looking for a funny fish shirt, or maybe you just want to share our channel, all those things really help, and we do appreciate the support. So I do want to thank you guys for for that. Really, um, I've been pretty. We've been pretty happy lately. We've seen all kinds of new people come over to our channel, so it's growing. We're excited about that, and. Uh, We'd love to keep it going, so the more you guys share, support our channel, and stuff like that, I mean, we really do appreciate it. It also gives us more opportunities in the future, so maybe we'll be able to get into more places um, and, and do more tours and things like that. Uh, the more people we reach, the more fish people we get to know, and hopefully maybe that will lead to tours, uh, stuff like that. So yeah, it's always get great when you guys are able to support our channel. We really do appreciate it a lot. It uh, keeps us motivated. It keeps us doing what we're doing. Um, oftentimes we like to touch subjects that many won't touch just because we're really about getting proper information out there and we really think about the fish first. Uh, a lot of times people use emotions and stuff like that and they let that get in the way of their fish keeping. But we really like to think about facts, logic, and really what's best for our fish. 
So for you guys that have been following along, you may have noticed the, the slight upgrades that we have seen in our sound, our camera, and stuff like that, but we've recently added some lighting to that. So hopefully this fixes the lighting issues we have. Sometimes it's way too bright, sometimes it's way too low. So uh, hopefully this is going to help us out, because amongst all of our stuff, we found some lights. Uh, Mike put that together in a DIY kind of style, and we have our own kind of little lighting rig. So we're... Part way there, people. So we have been having issues with our Ryukin goldfish. That's our fancy goldfish bandit lately. Uh, he really started to bloat and isn't looking so well. We're hoping, and we have put some Epsom salt and some other treatments in there. We're hoping that we're able to save him, but things aren't looking so good right now. Uh, hopefully he holds in there, but it is an unfortunate part of the hobby where sometimes losses uh, do happen. So we'll keep you guys updated on that. Uh, we have brought in, though, another fish in the meantime. We have George. Uh, he's a small little green terror that we had taken in because someone actually had their tank start leaking, very similar to what we've had happen a few months ago, and we could relate, so we ended up taking this guy home. So, unfortunately, the person that uh, did originally have the fish wasn't able to get a replacement tank and has just given us the fish. Uh, we hope to bring that over to our friend Dave and to his big tank. So, if you guys haven't checked out our tour of Dave's house. I'll include the link here, but really cool tour. Uh, huge tanks. You should really enjoy. You should really enjoy it there. So with our pea puffers, we have seen some improvements. We have added a friend with our one pea puffer, um, Puff Daddy. We now have Puff the Magic Dragon. So those two are happily living together so far. Uh, they're growing, which is awesome, and they started actually eating their frozen food. For a while, they were just stuck on live snails, but finally they've started accepting baby brine shrimps, frozen bloodworms, so we're pretty happy about that. So other than that, everyone else is looking well, which we're happy about. Um, everything else is going well otherwise, but I definitely hope you guys understand a little bit more about what's going on, where I, we have some of these delays happening from time to time. But we're going to do our best to keep our uploads regular and uh, stay with you guys. Because we definitely do enjoy this community and we definitely enjoy hearing from you guys. So we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Give us a like, uh, dislike, subscribe if you like. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support. And you guys have yourself a great day.